Now look, I just cut the camera back on. Look at Jake crawl the street. Look at Jake. Jake praying with Esau. They holding hands, praying with Esau. Look at that. Look at that. Hey man, our people want Esau to make it, man. I'm gonna get back to, uh, I was in Malachi. I was in Malachi, the fourth chapter. And I was in Isaiah. Get back to Isaiah 26. Uh, before the camera cut off. I was in Isaiah 26 and 20. I'm gonna hold that, but I'm about to read this right here. In Matthew. Uh, Matthew the sixth chapter. Matthew the sixth chapter. This is your shot teaching on prayer, right? Yeah, you see Jake just Jake over there praying with Esau, right? Holding hands, praying with Esau. This is this is uh Matthew 6 and 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets. Where they at? The corner of the streets, holding hands, praying. And, and they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have thy re their reward. They have their reward. It says, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly, man. But when thou pray, use not vain repetition as the heathens do, for they think that they should be heard for their much speaking. So he's trying to be on the good foot with Esau, saying he gonna hold hands and pray with him. Now Esau leaving, thinking like, well, he didn't say a prayer for us, but they still call him a nigga under his breath. Man. So that I just wanted, to, cause when I cut the camera on, that's what was going on. So. Hey, you saw it when the camera cut on. So, hey, man, the scriptures uh, edified, man. You know, that was that was basically the uh, wrong thing to do. You know, it says back in Isaiah 26 and 20, "Come, my people, enter into thy chambers." And we know this: the people are the elect, because the thermonuclear missiles are gonna be shot off. We just read in Malachi, the fourth chapter, that that day gonna come. It's gonna burn like an oven. The only thing that can make it burn like an oven is the missile, man. You know? Come, my people, enter into thy chambers, which those chambers are the chariots. You know? It says, and shut thy doors about thee, hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation is overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth. He cometh off his throne, man. You know? I was watching a video uh, yesterday where uh, the Apostle Tahar had a video of a dude who was supposed to have died one time and went and saw uh, the throne, the Heavenly Father. He said he was real dark, real dark skin, looked like he was about 35 with, with white hair. And he said that he was he was coming off that throne, man, to destroy, man, when he talked in that video. He explained how he was getting ready to come off his throne and destroy, man. And it says, For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. Because so he's getting ready to punish you people for your sins, man. For all your iniquities that you have uh, 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 accumulated, man. The Lord is getting ready to destroy you, man. You know? And it says, The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain, man. So, hey, man, the Lord get ready to shake this place. He get ready to rock this place, man. You know? And it says, back in Malachi 4 and 2, But unto you that feareth my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and go forth and grow up as calves in a stall, man. So the calves, when you see a calf in a stall, calves in a stall, he said we should go up in them chambers and be as calves in a stall, meaning what? A calf that's in a stall is what? Protected. He's protected from uh, 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 the destruction of what those wolves that are seeking him, man. That's out in the pasture. When he come in the stall, he's protected. 
So the Lord is going to protect us in those chambers from that thermonuclear destruction. And it says, and ye shall tread down the wicked, for they have they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, said the Lord your hour, man. So we're gonna get a chance to tread down the wicked, man. And we know who the wicked are. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, which is so-called white man, man. Right? They own everything, man. The diamond district, man, the, the banking families, man. They own everything, man. They own all these buildings we look at here, man. So, hey, man, the Lord is getting ready to come and trample, man, on the people, man. You know? That thermonuclear destruction, man. Uh, this Isaiah. What you think about that, young man? Huh? There's so much. Huh? There's so much. Yeah. You believe that the Lord? You ever read the scriptures? I know you got to be at least 13. You know, you know in our ancient society, a man was a man at 12 years old. I know you probably act like a little man. You know? Don't you act like a man? You know? <laughs> hey, the scripture, when you read the book of Revelation, it describes the Lord being dark. So he would look more like this than that. So this is the scripture right here. You know what this is to do? It's to keep, you, keep your mind uh, uh, like on a low state. That's how they're able to be open. Because when the Lord created us, he tells you in Deuteronomy that he made you above everybody. That's why when you we have a certain style on so everybody copy. When we sag our pants, everybody do it. We wear our hats to the side, everybody do it. So we, we like set the uh, it's like basically like Israelites. When you read the Bible, it talks about Israel, we the Israelites in the Bible. We set the tree for the whole world. So you just remember you're an Israelite and you're not an African American. Because Africa was named after a general named Kill Sitchell out of Congress. Right, I'm gonna, I can show you, it says that in the scripture, I'm gonna read one scripture for you. This is uh, Psalm, book of Psalm, 49 and 11. See, the 11 right there, it says, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. So the man that's in charge of everybody in them, or so-called white people, they can charge everything. They think they're gonna live forever. They're gonna die here soon. It says, their dwelling places to all generations and they call the lands after their name. So when they take some uh, land over, they'll name it after their, their self. So America was uh, discovered by American Christians. So Africa was Africa was named after Leo Scipio's Africana. So the people, it's always a people before it's a place. That's why we're Israelites. We're not African because we didn't really come from Africa. We came from Israel. Right? And we're not American because they brought our people on slave ships. So how are you African American? You're Israelites. That's that's power when you say that. Because Israelites, we're gonna in the end, uh, we're gonna have power like Exodus. You know, so in the end we're gonna get that power back we had in the ancient world. The Lord tell you David used to jump over buildings. You ain't seen no man jump over a building here, but he used to do it. So we're gonna get that power back. We don't have it now because we went against the Lord and he knocked us all the way down. He took all our strength. We about to get it back. We about to get it back. That's why when you see basketball, how many of the James in the that look like everybody else? None. Ain't no Michael Jordan, ain't no Kobe, ain't no white Kobe. Ain't, it ain't no Tiger Woods. It's just we 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 the people, man. So remember your Israelites, the Israelites in the Bible, your people, right? All right, then. All right, thank you, brother. Right on. Right. Y'all be safe. Huh. So, hey, man. The Lord getting ready to bring that destruction, man. I'm going uh, I'm to uh, I'm get that. I'm going to read, I'm going to read in uh, this second Ezra 16 and 1. It says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. So Babylon and Egypt are other names for uh, America, man. But Babylon means confusion. Where's that place of confusion? It's in America. So 
America, that other name is spiritually known as Egypt, man. When you read in Revelation, the 11th chapter, right? It says, girt up yourselves with clothes of sack and hair and beheld your children and be sorry for the destruction is at hand. So we telling our people, the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans that the, that the uh, destruction is at hand for the rulers of this society and the Lord is getting ready to raise us up and put us up back in our rightful order. Because the Negroes and the Latinos and the Native Americans, we're the ones that, that were running the world back in the ancient world, man. Even the Latinos, uh, the natives came here years ago, 3,000 years ago. They were here before anybody. But then what happened? The, uh, through the conquistadors, where are you from? I'm from uh, Mar Texas, to be honest. But you, uh, so Hispanic, Spaniard. So-called Mexican? Yeah. So you would be Issachar yeah. in the Bible, yeah. right? Like your people were here, which uh, I'm a native. Our people were here 3,000 years ago. That's a long time ago. We left, we left from the other side and came over here because we were in captivity under the Assyrians. So we left so we could, we could actually practice our laws. We came here to this place. The unknown land was awesome. We came here. And then, what, years and years and years later, when Columbus came, I and mean, it's been hell ever since. <laughs> the conquistadors stories came and took, killed our men, raped our women, put their seed in there. So you have a lot of our people, uh, mine, the natives, uh, you, Issachar, which, uh, Issachar. What the fuck? Dude, that's the fucking devil, man. That's the fucking Satan, man. You know, that's Satan, man. He just gonna come out and ask the man, Hey, we just rebuke that at Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? So, hey, man, um. About, uh, we're actually out here, me and a few other people, we're actually out here preaching the gospel. Gun. Hey, um, man. I know you're a believer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, 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 just yeah, yeah. Just make sure y'all preaching the, uh, that right hey, we're, gospel, we're, man. We're preaching the blood of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Religion destroys, but the Because, like, blood of Jesus our saves. people, uh, your people, you remember, I don't know if you're old enough, you, you speak to the ancient people of uh, the Mexican people, they'll tell you that the the, the, the serpent that came out of the uh, sky was the Lord. They used to call his name Quetzalcoatl in, 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 your, in the old language. They knew him as Quetzalcoatl. They say he was a dark-skinned man with a fiery serpent. That was his description. And when you read in the Bible, Revelation, it's going to describe him as looking as this. Not going to describe him as this. Yeah. Our people, the natives in, our, in, in the uh, Spanish, a lot of our people have this image up. They, yeah. Because you were conquered by these people and yeah. they put this image up for you. So a lot of our people believe in this, is this because you're an oppressor. So you're really giving homage to your oppressor instead of real image of who you I'm not saying that's him, but when you read yeah. the description, the description it was, it was it looks darker. Yeah, yeah. That, and, you know, and, then, and then you have to uh, remember. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you a passage when Jesus spoke to. Uh, I'm gonna show you when he was speaking in Acts. Let me show you something. Acts 26. Y'all be wearing garments like I have on? Uh, we don't. That's the uh, I mean, we're all, I mean, some of us look like uh, like what I'm looking. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just different people uh, that, you know, just came. We just went, you know, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We are, uh, you know, you're you an Israelite, to, right? We're here to fulfill the Great Commission, man. You're an Israelite, right? All the people, that's our yeah. name in the Bible. Yeah. Now, yeah, I studied this for a little bit. One, one of your uh, commandments, when you read the book of Numbers, 15th chapter, is when you come out to preach, you're supposed to wear an uh, ancient garment with a fringe, with a border blue. This symbolizes the covenant that we were under the Lord. This symbolizes that you're actually trying to uh, partake in the laws that the, the Bible gives us to take heed by. Yeah, well, that's so, why we have Jesus. You know, Jesus came in the new. That don't mean, the law. That's just is like one of our commandments. Now, when he well, came, he the, came to New Testament. Yeah, when he came to fulfill the law, guess what happened? That means he did everything perfect. He even had this garment. Yeah. So if he wore it, you should wear one too. You trying to you trying to do practice to the best of your ability, right? Because a lot of people really think when he came and died, 
They said when he came and died, you don't have to obey no laws no more. That's bullshit. Because if that's not the case, let's take a gun and let's start killing people. Why you ain't kill nobody? That's not in the New Testament or Old Testament. That's a law. Thou shalt not murder. Yeah. So let's not, let's, it's, let's, it's, let's it's go it's murder people. Murder is the same as see. It, as it is so let's go let's go start murdering people. Yeah. We we what we do when you have faith was the law. If you have strong yeah, faith, faith is you're going to, yeah, impossible to please it. So what you're going to do, you're going to actually, these laws that's in the first five books, you're going to try to obey them the best of your ability. The best of your ability. Because yeah. all of them you can. You can. 